Finally tonight, being first, it's always important, but it's also important to remember those who came before us in their own effort to be first. News 5 anchor Rob Powers spells it out for us. Maria, M-U-R-R-A-Y-A. That is correct. <laughs> Zaila Avant-Garde, the first African-American to win the National Spelling Bee, a thrilling moment made possible by thousands of moments by thousands of people who paved the way. People like Magnolia Cox, a 13-year-old girl from Akron, a prodigy, IQ through the roof, qualified for the National Bee in 1936, had to travel there in the colored car of the train. Couldn't stay in the hotel with the other contestants, had to use the back door of the arena and sit at a card table once inside. And yet Magnolia marched on. She was the first African-American to get to the top five, seemingly on her way to victory. Magnolia had studied from the list of 100,000 words given to every speller. But the judges, all white Southerners, apparently had seen enough. They pulled a word that wasn't on the list and, um, you know, you can't make this up. Uh, the, the word is nemesis. A word just moving into popular vernacular, nemesis, the goddess of divine retribution and revenge. Magnolia misspelled it. It was kind of moving from innocence to experience. And that was like our first real taste of racism. Van Jordan literally wrote the book on Magnolia. Noted scholar, professor, internationally acclaimed and award-winning poet, and just like Magnolia, Akron native. It's a reminder of how fragile uh, that period can be when you're a teenager. The moment celebrated in 2021 made all the more powerful because of what happened in 1936. Magnolia wanted to be a doctor, ended up a domestic for a doctor. Life wasn't easy. She eventually died from cancer at a relatively young age. Those moments in 1936, pivotal. When you see young people, you, you, you really have to encourage them um, because you know something that might happen at that stage in their life could be, uh, it could be indelible and it could change the, the, the course of their lives. All these years later, this is what's indelible. A thrilling moment made possible by thousands of moments, by thousands of people who paved the way. Rob Powers, News 5. We love to see it. And Zaila has said she hopes to be an inspiration for more African Americans to get involved in the bee. And history's not lost on her. Zaila says Magnolia was in her thoughts the night she won it all. Rob.